my life and my life was so full of you love you showed me how much you care now everything has changed because you're not here anymore oh oh oh, oh. daddy daddy
Jesus' name. Uh, quickly, we want to start now. Amen. Because time is not on our side. Please, if you are here for this occasion, kindly find a place to sit down. I welcome you all to the funeral service of our departed father, Senior Eda. Oputi, Festus, Oyekbia, who live and serve God faithfully before his departure. Without wasting more time, we, if you have your program there with you, declare the service open by singing, by taking the open hand. Sanke number 1000. Please, we are not going to follow what we have here. That's a mistake we have here on the program. But I believe many of us here, you came with your phone and we have your hymn in our phone. Public stars, we take the opening in from our hymn book or from your phone. Sanke number 1000. Then shall we gather on the river. I hand over to you. God bless you. Please, please die, die Yeah. 
king of the eagles. Vultures are not expected here. Whosoever that would come with trouble, Father, take them far away from us. Amen. Keep us together, my Lord, in love, and let everything be done in love and unity that at the end all glory be given unto you. We show our lives here in the blood of Jesus. We pray, my Lord, be present with us to the end. Thank you, faithful God. For I know even the life of the children and family members left behind, they are all in your able hands. And you are well able to take care of all. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. God, whom the Lord has sent to officiate this program this morning. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Quickly jump your hands together as we receive my father, your father, the man in charge of Agobi Division. He is no any other person than senior pastor. Savior at him. Jump your hands welcome in Jesus' name. Quickly Pastor Raphael Uman Bebo, that you are welcome. God bless you in Jesus' name. Also, make welcome to my daddy in the house, Reverend Matthew Edefiaji, in charge of Agbo B. Brand 2. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Daddy, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Quickly, I want to also make welcome to my very good friend, Reverend Etiosa Igerobo, in charge of Ozarebobo. You are yeah, welcome in Jesus' name. Also, may welcome to Reverend Joshua Omegui, the man in charge of us at five. You yeah, are welcome in Jesus' name. Also, I want to make welcome to the elders and the goddesses, the members of all welcome in Jesus' name. My daddy from other branches, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Also, my pastor friend. Uh, Reverend Dr. Osakwe Francis, the man in charge of Ali JBC. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Every other minister present here, I say you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Quickly, the host uh, minister, the man that passed all of our daddy before the Lord God called him home. Pastor Isaac Omore, go ahead. And you are welcome. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Thank you from Owa. Owa Rodeo, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. My able Dicky, God bless you for coming here. My man's uh, Abobi Divisional Man's Choir or Mass Chorista. Mass Choir. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. To everyone seated in this gathering, I say you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Time will not permit me to call your name. Wherever you are, just jam your hands together for yourself. Put your hand together for yourself. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Okay. John chapter 4, verse 19 through 24. With a clap of vision, join me as we receive my brother, the first son to our departed daddy. Brother God's way will put it. Jam your hands together for him. Keep on clapping. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. The first Bible is in John chapter 4, verse 19 to 24. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in the mountain. And you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship ye know that no, no ye worship ye know not what. We know what to worship for salvation is of the truth. For the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him was worshiping the spirit and the truth.
Constanța. was a missionary. One time, a family member, the wife and the children, embarked on a journey. So while they were moving, they enter uh, a ship, moving into another country. In the process of the journey, the ship capsized. This man lost the wife and the four children in just one day. So that's by what they was going through in the midst of the pains, the midst of tears and crying, he wrote the song. Amen. So hear me well this afternoon, no matter what you are going through, always have this in your mind that it is well with your soul. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Okay, we The second Bible reading from the book of Revelation 22, verse 10 through 14. To be read to the house by Brother Daniel Oputa. Put down your hand together for him. Daniel Oputa, God bless you. Second Bible reading, Revelation 22, 10 and 14. And he said unto me, See not the series of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he is with fifty, let him be fifty still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give everyone according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the truth of life, and may enter in through the great into the city. Praise the Lord. In a way, that the stars of the morning. Why are over to you?
the goal you did and also the problem you caused. Amen. Amen. The song saying, we shall be remembered for the things we have done. From the book of Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7 to 14. We have your program there, turn to page 4, page 7. Page 7. To be read to us this afternoon is by my humble pastor, Pastor Joshua of Megui. Jump your hand together for him. Return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, say the preacher. All is vanity, verse 9. And moreover, because the preacher was he still taught the people knowledge. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. Verse 10. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was so upright, even words of truth. Verse 11. The words of the wise are as gods and as nails, fasting by the masters of assemblies which are given from one shepherd. Verse 12. And further by this, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. 14 and the last. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. The Lord bless this word in our heart in Jesus' name. We say, Reverend Godwin Okonedo. I welcome in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Quickly, we want to receive the Christians and the pleasures with a special the Lord abide forever. Hear me and hear me well this afternoon. The word of God that we want to hear now is not for our daddy. 
but rather the world is for you and for myself. Amen. Amen. Turn your hands together as I receive my Father, whom the Lord has anointed to bless us with the undiluted word of God. Is there any other person, the pastor, doctor, professor, Matthew, in this year, Jay? Turn your hands together for Jesus as he takes over the microphone. Amen and amen. Are we happy to be here? Oh my God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, put a family. Are you happy to be alive today? You are happy to be alive today. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Can we join them to clap for Jesus? Amen and amen. All right, let's bow our head for a short prayer. Father, we thank you at this moment, O oh God. Speak through me, O oh God. Give us the ear to hear you, the heart to return your words, that your name be blessed in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the last statement. The MC made before he hand over the microphone to me. He said, the word you are about to hear is not from our late father, our late brother, our late senior header. But rather, it's for you and I who is alive and who are here at this moment. Praise the Lord. Okay, I want to talk to us on a topic I titled Be careful in your living. In your living. The way you live your life matters a lot because someone owns your life. Especially Christians among us, even in the church. Elder, leave me. Pastor, leave me. Don't talk to me anyhow. Let me know as I serve my God. Let me know as I live my life. It's an error. You should try as much as possible to live your life the way it will please God. Because someone owns you, someone created you. And so you must live your life. To please your Creator. Tell your neighbor, live your life to please your Creator. You did not say it well. Say it well. Live your life to please your Creator. Amen and amen. amen. Live your life to please your Creator. It's very important. Every one of us is on a journey on this earth. And so, because we have a master whom we will eventually report our journey to, we should be careful the way we live our life. And that is why I so much love, love or like Apostle Paul of old who took the gospel by himself the way his master taught him. In Philippians chapter 1 if you read through 1 through 4 you will see the admonition of Apostle Paul and Timothy. Let me just read through Philippians chapter 1, 1 through 4. Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus which are at Philippi, with the bishop and the deacons, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance 
of you. Always in every prayer of mine for you. You are making requests with joy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This story or this prayer that Apostle Paul made for the Philippians was in remembrance of what the encounter he had with people of Philippi. Philippi is a country or uh, is a province in Macedonia. Now a place known as Greece. For those of you who have been to Greece, it's in the world. It was in the old days we were thinking that Jerusalem was heaven. Uh, um, so live your life to please God. Always be careful in your living. Paul said, you dickies in this place. You members in this place. I remember you. Continue in this business of our God. Because time is coming when you will not be strong enough to do it the way you started. But let people remember you for what you have done. Today, we go to church. We count the days we will serve God. Many of us here today, only Sundays, we are only known on Sunday service. Many of us today, we are only known to contribute for burial or for harvest. Other activities, we are not known for them. Think very well the way you serve God. Be careful in the way you live your life. Somebody owes your life. If you are there with your Bible, please help me to read from the same Philippians chapter 3, 7 and 8. Paul posted of his activity in serving God. is on course. The animal who puts his hand in, on the plow needs not to look back. Many of us are not looking back. We look at things of the world more important than the service of God. Let your work speak for you. Let your work speak for you. Be careful the way you live your life. For somebody owns your life. Is that the end of the message? Yes. Okay. For whom I have suffered. For whom I have suffered. The loss of all things. The loss of all things. I do count them. Hey. But don't. That I may win Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. I do this. I respect my God. I honor my God. These are the words of Apostle Paul. I honor him. Because he is my excellency. I suffer the loss of all things. And do count them as dumb. As shit. Things of the world. Paul considered them as nothing. That, I may win Christ. that he may do what? Win Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That I may win Christ. Come on, quiet. Be on your feet. Give me that sangue you... Sanctity seven, seven and eight. Fading away, 
like the star of the money. It's no more. Heat is too much. It's not there. Please shift a bit. It's not there. Please give me cold water because of this song. It's no more. I will be like this one day. And you will be like this one day. You will be only about what you have done. Maybe going back from this place after today, the children will begin to look at the world and they will see the enlightenment of their father. And they will say, my son, look at my father. Leave me with smile. But they cannot see the smile in his living life. We know where we touched. He's gone. What is left for him now is his good works. What will you be remembered for? The day is coming. We are sitting under the canopy now. That the sun is too hot. But Putin has no voice to complain now. What he will be remembered for is his work. His work will speak for him. What he has done. Let us consider our ways, dear sisters and brothers. It is important for us to serve God and serve God well. Let us not be that man, that woman, who will leave our compound and people will be rejoicing. That trouble man has left. That trouble woman has left. Let them remember you for your good works. Because your work will speak for you. And you will be only remembered for the work you have done. Do you think if the bell rings today, you will be accepted? Think well. Think well. Know whom you are serving. Serve him well because he has his reward. Whatever you do, he will pay you accordingly. And we stand to our feet at this moment. Our service to humanity. How is it? How is it? How is it? Let's ask God, even at this moment, Lord, here am I. If I'm not doing the right thing now that will make me or will make you God to remember me on the last day, Lord, let me follow the right path. That when the sound of the trumpet shall be heard, I will be among those you will welcome to your food. Open your mind begins to pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Because your work will speak for you. Your work will speak for you. Lord! Help me, Lord. Father, we thank you for another way of life that we have received this afternoon for us to review our lives. Because our lives belong to you and not to any man. 
law with arms race, ha ha, that will help us. But he writes, the life that's pleasing to you. At the end of the day, Father, we'll be able to make heaven at last. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I would like to call within two persons, one from the church, one from the family, to testify of the life that our daddy lived. Hear me, I hear me well. Life on earth is nothing except we live it for Jesus. No other person from Philippians 1 verse 21 said for me to live is Christ and to die is what? Gain. Any believer that serves God will never die. You only change address. One time, some time ago, a man of God preaching, he said, you can keep me, you can keep my life, but you can't keep my soul. You can destroy my life, but you can't destroy my soul. Amen. Amen. So we need two, two persons now, one from the family, one from the church, to speak a few words, a few things about our departed father. I would like to say to my senior elder who put the first of Uyopia, may I meet him in Agobi, Christ Chosen Church of God number three. The man is a man of hospitality, very gentle, very meek in heart. Never hurt anybody since I know him. He's a man of good character and he's also a faithful member. Despite the short illness that befell on him, the man was still coming to church. He never has sent himself one day from the church. So if we have somebody like him, I think most of the reading from the Bible today, the, the pastor the, in the church will not have much work to do. But all I have said, the man lying down here is a very gentle, meek, and hearted man. Never hurt anybody. I never see him dragging issue with anybody. So that is where I know him. Thank you so much. May his soul rest in perfect peace in Jesus' name. Amen. From uh, Akumasi, who we went there for burial. When the, the man was laid to rest, they called out the children to come around and uh, you know carry some poor for the man body. The second daughter, she began to lay curses on the father. He said, if you call life next time, you will tell your children. He said, if you call life next time, you will live well. After those words, I called my pastor. Why is your wife been talking? He said that Papa gets 12 children, no one gets to start. The man lived long, but he lived long for nothing. How will a man that lived to the age of 75 years and was buried in his father's house? An error. Amen. Amen. May we live long to serve God well in Jesus' name. We need a man from the family. Clement Usaho Ute, a younger brother to lead the uh, Christos Ute. Uh, well, uh, it is uh, fortunate that we are gathering at this time, which I never expected, but it happened that you know, it has to go that way and we cannot question God. Or anything that happened, so just like the moderator was saying, so we believe that it is well with our soul, no matter what happens. So my young brother, actually, I think everybody that knows him, you know, or that knew him before he died, know that he was a very gentle and humble, peace-loving 
uh, man to, you know, uh, you know he, he is somebody that don't really like to be around me because of his gentle disposition. And uh, it was unfortunate that he has to go this way, but we give glory to God for everything that has uh, happened. So he's, uh, you know, he lived a good life and a uh, very good motivator in the glory of God. He was able to train his children to graduate level. I think they are giving them a good start in life to so be able to build on the legacy that he had left behind. So glory be to God for a life well spent. Thank you very much for blessing. As we open the casket, we will be taking the song for Be With Us to We Miss Again. Before then, I call on our daddy. The taking of Abobi Bracteri to step forward and take the biography. Praise the Lord. This is the biography of late Senior Elder Ubuntu Festus Oyekwe. Late Mr. Ubuntu Festus Oyekwe was born on the 6th of February 1958 to the family of late Pa Raphael Obia Dolakoi Ubute of Uwe Quarters and Mayelo Otoki Ubute Ni Nordiana of the Bunu Quarters in Otalokobu in the castle of the Bukovan in Mr. First of Soyeb Ubute started his elementary school at Enlo Primary School Otalokobu and finished in the early 70s where he obtained his first school living certificate with distinction. Thereafter, he proceeded to St. Columbus Grammar School, Argo, where he obtained his West African school certificate with two in 1978. He taught briefly as an auxiliary teacher between 1979 and 1980. Between 1980 and 1983, he got admission in, in and obtained his national Nigerian certificate education as one of the pioneer graduates. He did his one year mandatory national youth service between 1983 and 1984 in Jobs, the state of Nigeria. After his youth service, he was employed by the then Bendel State Government as a permanent teacher in the secondary section and subsequently posted to Iwi Assess Secondary School, Abonka. Subsequent promotions and transfers took him to different schools, these, in the Wessel Secondary School, Akbo Technical College, Renuma Mish Secondary School, Ababo, and Imo Bimish Secondary School. Due to his insatiable quest for education in the mid 1980 90s, he was admitted into the prestigious University of Port Harcourt, where he got his BSc in Education, Cook, Economics, in the year 2015. He was promoted to the rank of Principal Merit Green, the position he held until his retirement in 2019, after 35 years of meritorious service. Late Mr. Festo Soyeke Okuta, was a very responsible father and husband. He got married to late Mrs. Beatrice Okuta Ni Benoba in the late 1980s. And the marriage is blessed with three surviving children, two boys and a girl. Unfortunately, Mr. First of Okuta lost his amiable wife in February 2021. To God be the glory, the children are all graduates. Late Mr. Abuta first of Seyepea is also survived by his aged mother, sister, uncle, aunt, brothers, and other relatives too numerous to mention. Adieu, 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 gentle father, brother, colleague, cousin-in-law, a friend, continue to rest in the bottom of the law till we meet to part no more. Praise the Lord. Father have lived well and return to your seat. 
Okay. Church member, over to you. Family member, follow. Family member, follow. Friends and well wishers. Family members, friends and well wishers. Secure their life in the day and the night. 
as many that said yes, you have no father again, you have no mother again. Let me see the person that will stand for you. Lord, let them know that you are the only one to stand for everyone. People make parable that cow that has no tail. It is God that drives fly for the cow. Watch over the life of these children. Help them, my Lord and my Savior, to live in the fear of God. No sickness that have taken the life of your father or your mother will come upon you. Amen. You will not go the way your father went. Amen. You will not go the way your mother went. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. You have your own destiny and you have your life to live. Amen. The Lord will keep you. You will live longer than your parents. Amen. You will fulfill the days the Lord has given you on earth. service take control. Amen. After now, my blessed Redeemer, the time of social, take control. Amen. Give us a good weather from the beginning to the end. Amen. We will surely come back to thank you because we believe you will never forsake us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Call on the senior son, brother Opute, lost way. And the daughter who take the, the trip. Turn your hands together for me. Well, we need some to take it. It's one that you could take to share with you and come to an adult. And I do worry whether we could ever find someone to fill your place. Yes, because I know you are never with God. I was able to wipe away my tears as I thought about five years of life that you did, right? So you need to see cross paths with you. Goodbye, then. We call on the daughter to take the second uh, tribute. This is my tribute to my dad. I know the pain of losing you will perhaps never leave me. I imagine it will never cease with time as I confess I get through it. How can I? How can I get over a person who has been there since before I was even aware of myself? I lost my dad, but only in body, not in spirit. I take comfort in knowing that you are no longer in pain, and in the fact that you live a good life, we are all proud of. I have continued to reflect on the precious memories you left behind to find peace, knowing fully well that you have raised an amazing person in me and my brothers. I pray that all you have prayed for us during your life shall continue to follow us until our last prayer. I vehemently pray again to Almighty God to forgive your wrongs and grant you eternal peace in heaven until we meet to pass the night. Thank you. Time, up. Okay, we're about to take the casket to the graveside. Please, we need the youth from the church to help us as we convey the casket to the graveside. i 
Your soul forever rest in peace. Amen. Whosoever that will use your picture, your name, and anything that concerns you to trouble your children and your family, it will backfire. Amen. In Jesus' name.
Oh my God. 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 Dancing will continue. We just want to bring the first segment of this service to a close. Please, may we all arise. Father, we thank you. We thank you for everything. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, the first service is over. Lord, the shushu, we ask that your will be done. Anything that will cause quarrel or fighting, let it be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know you are here. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please, let's share the grace together. Anna Tumosh, God bless you. Yes, standing before you is MC Yabake. Yeah. I want to say a very big welcome. We're not going to take much of your time. We know you've wasted so much time here. Yeah, okay. All the dignitaries here present, I say welcome, including our church members. I welcome yeah. you all. Okay. Permit yeah. me also okay. to recognize the Owari Ojo yeah. of Salon okay. Le here present. Okay. God's will, members of the new black men of Africa, Christ choosing, if I don't mention your name, nothing say I don't want to mention now. Make you feel say I never see you. Once again, I say welcome as we celebrate the departure our friend, our colleague, senior elder, okay, Obite, first yes. boss, okay, Oyekbia, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, okay, permit me, as I observe protocol, the Oputa family will welcome you. Our okay. big daddies in the house. All right. We we'll say
in Kansas constituency, the man that contested and won. Please put your hands together for him. Let's celebrate him. It's not easy. Because this last election, he got us a pain. But our brother, he go, he conquer. But you remind our father and my boss. Uh, my okay, man. You have come here again to be with us. And this is how you have always done it. You always represent it. God bless you. And ladies and gentlemen, permit me also to recognize the presence of the Benoba family. Benoba family of Obomudai and Ohikobe. We welcome you. The Obude family. My father. Oga Oyibo, I call him Ogo Oyibo, they call him Kuplana. He's supposed to be a military man. <laughs> Big Daddy. All the Zekos, all the Osanogogo people here present, we recognize your presence. Permit me also of members of Christ Chosen, Abo Branch, Evelyn Led by India. Penny Branch, here present. Members of the new Black Movement of Africa, here present. Worldwide, they are here. Some are still on their way. The chairman is here. Elder Solomon. Ladies and gentlemen, any moment from now, we'll be calling on the very family for their welcome down. The Hakbe community and Okuwe landlords. And Okuwe landlords, the Holy Moon, we welcome you all. I see on our law. Permit me also to recognize the presence of Pharmacotical Society of Nigeria, Eldo State. We welcome you once again, Pharmacotical Society of Edo State, wherever you are. Know that you are wonderful people. Permit me also to recognize the presence of the Osanogogo community, the Obumudai community here present. And ladies and gentlemen, by this notice, I want to invite the bereaved family for their welcome dance. I will call on and take it So that we will declare this place open. The bereaved family should please come out for their welcome dance. Umozu, Tohane, Dodoni. I will call on and take it. Nanoda Allah. Yes. <laughs> 